All right, how we doing? I think that might have did it. Yeah, we were having a little computer trouble, trails and stopping and going. So it's a beautiful day, day in the neighborhood. You know, it's a glorious day. It's a, a soft day, as the Irish call it. A little cloudy, cuts down the sun glass, slows people down a little bit, hopefully. You know, the sun, you can't drive. It makes people crazy, you know. All right, so just dropped mom off. I did a little parts thing. I got a couple of hours here until I got to do it all again, pick her up and drive off to Lana Land. Maybe just for my little book, she got. <laughs> She's so cute. I go over to Pete's yesterday to get the parts and the baby's there. He's like, no, no. He said, what's the matter? You don't like my beard? You don't like my glasses? You know, she's being cranky. She said, okay, okay, okay. I'm going away, I'm going away. She stopped crying. So I go get the parts. I say, okay, I'm leaving now. She said, bye, James. She was happy to see me go. So I brought my mother over there, right? She's like, no, no, right? But then, we, you know, she calmed down. We took her outside with this and that, right? So then, we'll, then when we're leaving, she said, bye, Nana Fran. My mother said she was happy to see us leave. <laughs> you know, but when we go to, to uh, Helena's to babysit, so she waits for us by the window. And they tell me, she asks about me all the time. And Nana Fran. And when she comes here, she has a ball. Yeah. So it's a beautiful day. I drive my mother to work, and I use her car. She got a brand new Altima. It's a lease. They let you have twelve thousand miles a year. I said, Why you always got to use my car? I said, Ma, what are you gonna do? Give it back to them with two thousand miles on it? She drives like a hundred miles a year. I said, What are you saving it for the next people that are gonna buy it after you give it back? I got a nice car. I got I got the ninety five BMW five series. Beautiful car. It's cream puff, perfect condition. Drives like it never even hit a bump. It's the ultimate driving machine. It's got a stick shift too. You know, I've had a lot of stick shifts and a lot of convertibles. There's Corvettes, Camaros. I had the the, uh, the Indy Pace car, Camaro, four hundred fifty horsepower convertible. Talk about shake rattle and roll, man. That thing was frightening. You know. I had the Z28s, the Berlinetta Camaro with the T10 four-speed. You know, the four-speed, the one that go ka chunk ka chunk the fucking thing will tear your arm off if you, you miss the fucking gear, right? The long shirt shift, uh, her shifter. I had one of those Firebird Formula 400s from the 70s, you know, with the long hood scoops. You know, like the kind of car the guy bought in American Beauty when he, like, when he went nuts, like kind of like when I'm going nuts. It was bitch real estate wife. That orange fiber with the long hood scoops. Oh, that was so fucking, that was fucking awesome. I used to do donuts by the schoolyard. People used to say to me, where did you get a car like this? I said, my father was in the step, my stepfather was in the auto parts business. Some guy said, take it to the tranny place. The tranny needed to be rebuilt. It was an automatic. It was $350 to rebuild the tranny. The guy didn't want it. He didn't want to pay the bill. So Tom bought the car, brought it home in the driveway for me. I come home one day, I see this car in the driveway, I say, what the fuck? Oh my God, I almost fucking died. I said, he goes, yeah, we just, we just, uh, we just got to get the tranny fixed, it's yours. He said, go ahead, go out and start, start it up, listen to the motor. Oh my God, I almost fucking died. So we took it to Delta Transmissions in the, in the, in Freeport. $350. The guy didn't want to pay the bill. A week later, I had it on the road. It was white. So Papa Tom paid the bill and gave the car to me. A fucking monster. The, you know, like the turtle-shaped Camaro. Uh, Firebird. Fucking awesome. The one with the long hood scoops. So, uh... 1973. It's a beautiful day. And speaking of giving thanks, thanks to everybody. Thank God for Mom. Thank God for Pete, for Helena, for my little... Uh, Bubshka... For my sister-in-law. Thank God for you family. You forgot to mention Vinny, you schmo. Thank God for you. Thank God for the little things in life that money can't buy. Except I need money for cigarettes. Things like that, you know? Every day. Every day should be a day of thanks. But for the little things. Little things that mean the most. Things money can't buy. So this question. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to retune the D string back to E. Okay, let's, you know what? The E string, you idiot. You know what? Let's work with it. I don't even think I need the glasses for this, because I think I know the words.
still shot. I was holding the statue pose. You know, when Vinny and Helena were kids, they used to come here all the time, because I had the same relationship with them when they were kids as I had with Lana. I used to come around and run all over the place. I said, look, let's play the statue game. <laughs> Act like you're a statue. I used to sit there. They were so good. They were so good. Uh, oh. So I made it through that one with no cuts, no hits, no runs, no edits. You know, I think I'm just gonna leave it alone the way it is. There's a couple, you know, a little gritty. It's early. I had one, I had one cup of coffee. I had about five cigarettes. <laughs> All right, brothers. Peace. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you.